In this video, we're going to go over how to use the moving averages in the Predator. So that means how to customize and enter at a moving crossover or using your moving averages to filter out any other auto entry as well. So with that, let's get into it. All right, and to get things started, we're heading over to the Predator properties. And for any auto entry, we're going to need to be in either hybrid or classic Predator mode. For this example, I'm just going to do hybrid mode because that's what most of us are going to use anyways. So let's set up our moving average crossover. We head down to our auto entry and select the show MA cross button. And when we do that, it's going to reveal our fast and our slow moving average inside the indicator section. And from here, we can customize our moving average exactly how we want it. So here you'll have your EMA, SMA, pretty much any sort of moving average that you need it's going to be in this list. So we're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to stay with an EMA. I usually like to do a nine EMA. So I'll select that there. Next, I'm going to go to my slow moving average. And this is the one your fast is going to have to cross either down for short or up for long. So again, I'm just going to select an EMA and I'm going to do a period of 21. And here you can also customize how your line is shown on the chart. I'm just going to keep it as is just to keep things simple. But once we select our moving averages, I'm just going to select the enter at the MA cross button. And once I select this, it's just telling the system to start entering trades when the fast moving average crosses the slow moving average. Now let's scroll back up to our auto entry section. And I just want to modify the confirmation candles. With a zero confirmation candle, it's going to enter as soon as the fast moving average crosses the slow moving average, even if that current candle has not closed. So there could be scenarios where you enter into a trade and then it reverses and then it looks like it never actually crossed over. If that happens, it's likely because you're at zero confirmation candles. So it crossed over while the candle was forming and then it just happened to reverse and not work out. Now, if you wanna wait until the candle closes, you can delay your order by your confirmation candles. And this is just going to be how many candles need to close after the crossover has happened. So in most cases, most people want to just wait one candle after the crossover happens. So I'm just going to select a value of one. And that's all you really need to set up your moving average crossover entry. Let's just set up our order and see this play on the chart. So we head down to our order section and I'm going to select an ATR stop for this example. I'm going to set it at 1.5 times the current ATR. That looks good to me. I'm just going to change the order quantity of my first target to five and my first profit target. I'm going to set it based on ATR again. This one, I'm just going to do a 0.9 ATR. And I'm not gonna set a trail or anything like that for this one, but I will for my second target. So again, I'm just going to set a market order. My second target is going to be a little bit smaller, just a order quantity of three. So, so far my position size is eight altogether. Again, I'm going to select ATR profit and I'm going to set this target at 1.8 ATR. And I'm also going to set a trail stop. Again, I'm just sticking with ATR to keep things simple. And I'm going to set it so it starts trailing once it hits our 0.9 ATR target. So this means when it reaches a 0.9 ATR target, that's just the same thing as I have as my first target, then it's going to start trailing my stop by 1.5 times the ATR. And just as an added bonus, I'm going to set a third target. This one, I'm not going to set a profit because I just want to get stopped out. I'm going to set it so this trail, again, it does not start until it reaches a profit target of 0.9R. And I'm going to set this at, I don't know, let's do two and a half ATR. And this is just going to give it quite a bit more room to trail. And I'm not saying you guys have to trade like this. This is just an example for this video. You guys can customize your order however you want. There's another video that shows you exactly how to customize your orders with the Predator. You can find it right here. But for now, I'm just going to hit apply and we're going to enable this and play it on the chart. So here we're just looking for our blue line 
that is our fast moving average to cross above our yellow line. Order submitted. So here we finally had our 9 EMA cross above the 21 EMA. We had a one confirmation candle set. So once it crosses, it waits until the one candle closes and then it enters on the next. Then we had our stop order and our profit targets set exactly where we defined it. So I'm just going to hit play. Order filled. All right, so here we hit our first profit target of 0.9R. And you can see we start trailing our stops up just exactly how we defined them using the ATR. So I'm just going to keep playing this and see how it works. Order filled. So now I'm just going to speed this up. And again, you guys can define your orders however you want. This is just one example. And just another new feature that we added on for version 2.1.8 is the ability to exit your trade out on an opposite reversal candle. So in previous versions, we needed an entry in the opposite direction in order to exit out of your trade and re-enter in the opposite direction with the yellow rev button. But now if we click it again, we change it to the rev rev option. This option is going to exit your trade when it detects a reversal candle in the opposite direction. So if you're going long and a red candle forms, it's going to exit your trade. Now, if we have the re-entry button enabled, it's going to re-enter you in the opposite direction. If you just want to exit at the first red candle, just select the little exit door. Now, when a red candle forms, it's just going to exit you out of a trade, regardless of any opposite setup. So let's see if we can make that happen. So if this close is red, we're out of the trade. Order filled. So as soon as we detected a red candle, it took us out of the trade. Here, just see the timestamp at the bottom. Both of these candles are the exact same time. It will exit as soon as it can. It's usually on this candle, but because both of these share the same timestamp, it just exits as soon as possible. All right, from this point, we're just looking for the fast moving average to cross below our yellow slow moving average. And this is going to enter us into a short position. And just remember, if you're not using the ref button, you can just turn that off. That way you're not exiting when you don't want to. Order submitted. So here we had our fast moving average cross below our slow, the one confirmation candle that closed. So it entered us on the next candle. Now, let me hit play. Order filled. All right, so here it hit our first profit target. Now it just starts trailing our stops down, just like we defined. So again, I'm just going to hit play. Order filled. Order submitted. So for that trade, we ended up just getting stopped out on our last position, and it just happened to cross over to the long side as well. So it entered us to the long side. But that's pretty much all there is to these moving average crossovers. You can just define which one you want and when you want to enter. So now let's go over how to use these moving averages to filter out our other auto entries. All right, so we're back in the properties. And for this example, I'm just going to turn off the enter at the MA cross. And by doing this, we're just using these moving averages as a filter for our other auto entries. So these are mainly just used to ensure we're on the right side of the trend. I'm first going to just turn off the slow moving average just for the first example, and then we'll turn it back on after just so we can learn how both of these interact with the other auto entries. So I'm going to select the reversal. I'm going to trade the reversal and color the reversal. And I'm also doing the engulfing button just so we can see them on the chart as well. And for this one, I'm just going to select, let's do, let's just do something a little bit different. Let's do an SMA 
and we'll do a 50. That's a pretty popular one. All right, so let's enable this on the chart and let's go over how it works. When we use moving averages on our chart, they're going to filter out the other auto entries. So it's only going to take shorts below the moving average and it's only going to take longs above the moving average. So if we look over here, we can see all these engulfing candles and all these bearish reversal candles are colored in because they are under the moving average. But none of the bullish green candles are colored because we're under the moving average, so they are not valid. So let's just scroll through the chart. And over here we can see it's the complete opposite. None of the bearish candles are colored in because we are above the moving average, but all of our bullish candles would be valid trades because again, we are above the moving average. So that's all it really is with these moving averages. It's just long above, short below. Now let's add another moving average to the mix and see how that works. So I'm just going to enable the second slow moving average. And for this one, let's do a 100 SMA. So it's a 50 versus a 100. All right, so when we add two moving averages to this strategy, that's just an additional filter where the price has to be in the correct side of the moving averages in order to enter. So for a short trade, our blue fast moving average must be below the slow moving average. So that is your yellow 100 SMA. And the price must also close below both moving averages. So here the fast is below the slow and the price is also below both of them. So only the shorts are valid. If we scroll over here to this area, you can see the price is below both SMAs here. But if you look at the blue fast moving average, it is still above your yellow SMA. So that means this short would not have been valid. So that is why this short is not colored in. And if we scroll over to this side, you can see your fast moving average is above your yellow slow moving average. And the price is also above both of them. So all of these long bullish candles would have been valid trades. But if we scroll just a little bit more, we can see this bullish candle was above both moving averages, but your fast moving average is below the slow. So this is not a valid bullish candle. So that is why it's not colored in. So that is how these filter out your other auto entries. Let's just play it on the chart to get a few more examples. All right, so we're just going to play it. Here there's nothing valid because the fast is below the slow, but the price is above everything. So we need the fast to cross above the slow. Now that the fast is above the slow, our bullish candles are going to be valid. Order submitted. Okay, so here we entered long at the reversal with the one confirmation candle and it set our stop and our profit targets just like we had them. Order filled. Order filled. And now it's just trailing our stop up with the ATR. Order filled. And that's pretty much all there is to these moving averages. It's just another way to filter out your trades. So I hope you guys found this video useful. So always take care, enjoy.